in the West Texas area. Visit West Texas Eye Care at 605 North Main in Fort Stockton or 611 South Oak in Pecos. They offer complete and thorough eye examinations for the whole family, including therapeutic optometry, eyeglasses, contact lenses, laser surgery consultation, and screenings for macular degeneration and diabetes with an in-office lab. Call to make an appointment today in Fort Stockton at 336-3662 or in Pecos 445-3662. This is Dakota Livsa Bank. All right, uh, we are here back, and uh, Darren, we have switched. Just going to stream on YouTube tonight, YouTube Live, and so uh, we hope that works. And we'll have to cut out Facebook tonight so that we can try to get to get a better product on YouTube with our prowlers tonight. Well, it is. I mean, it's tough that. Uh, yeah, it's you know we we need we need a better signal here. We need them yeah. to help us out. But yeah. uh, so, you know we noticed even just uh, out in the community, the signal is is very poor. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's certainly bad in the gymnasium. So we have just switched to YouTube, and uh, we're certainly uh, we hope that that is going to be better for us tonight. All right, the Fort Stockton Prowlers getting ready to start this ball game against Canyon West Plains. And these are the Lady Wolves of Canyon West Plains. And they're a very good volleyball team that we'll be facing tonight out of the Panhandle area, just south of the Amarillo area in Canyon. You know, uh, Darren Canyon's becoming a pretty good sized place. They've got a lot of suburbs around that area. And Canyon West Plains is a high school that's only about three years old, I think. Yeah, and already I think they're going into 5A1 or 2. So, yeah, yeah that, uh, the Bushland, uh, the Canyon schools, uh, you know, th th that's a big area. All right. We're still waiting for <clears throat> this game to begin. They are making the Canyon West Plains cheerleaders move out of the back. Well, their, ma their mascot, that wolf, was peeing on the floor. <laughs> You can't do that, you know. It's territory, but that's that's not allowed. Get over there. Move to the side of the court rather than behind the server. All right, can about to begin for our Fort Stockton. The game is underway. There's a dig right away, and there is a Arias. A triple R welding kill, and the Prowlers are on top one to nothing in game one against the West Plains Lady Wolves. We should take a picture of the scoreboard. Yeah, that's. I like it. Good job. Griselda Porta serving for the Prowlers. Here's the set by Fort Stockton. That's a great one by Ariana Gonzalez. And was back across by Fort Stockton. Here's Canyon West Plains with an. A dink across by the Prowlers. That was Alina Montes. And now an attempted kill. And it is out of bounds by Canyon West Plains. And it's two to nothing Prowlers in game one. Well, I said earlier on the thread we were up two to nothing. And so I meant point wise. So prof prophetic. All right, here is the set. Block by Fort Stockton, but it goes out of bounds. That was Ivana. And Amaya getting up there for a nice block. However, it did sail out of bounds off of us, so it's 2-1 Fort Stockton in game one. Really stuffed her, just went out of bounds. I Z like our effort. Zenaida Morillo serving for West Plains. And here's the serve into the middle. Dug out by Ariana Gonzalez. Elena Montes with a left-handed kill. And now here's a dig by Ariana. It's in close to being in the net. It's Fort Stockton in the net. That's what they're going to call. Looks like uh, Alyssa Rangel was in the net. Just crossed the line a little bit. 2-2 two -two is our score now in game one. West Plains will be serving. I believe that's Morillo. Here's the set. Into the middle. A dink across by Amaya. The set was a little bit low. And now here's the set again for Amaya in the middle. And now Canyon West Plains sets it to the other side. And number six there, Jaylee Franklin. Outside hitter gets the kill from the left. 3-2, West Plains. Sonata Murillo. Wasn't that a song by George Strait? Up from San Antonio. Sonata. Straight points by West Plains. Here's the set by the Prowlers. Elena with a nice uh, hit. It is out, however. A left-handed uh, left hit, and it 
just a little bit too long, only a few inches. I like it, though. Very yeah. aggressive play for the corner. 4-2, to two, West Plains. And here's the serve and the set. Ivana Ortiz with an attempted kill. And now here's the uh, set for Ivana. Ivana hits it across. And West Plains able to dig it out. There's a great dig by Ariana. We save it. West Plains uh, gets it back. Here's the attempted kill. And we save it. Good dig by Alyssa Rangel. We dink it across by Amaya Urias into the middle. And that is a kill by number four there, Brooklyn Garcia for West Plains. And after we took a 2-0 lead, they've scored five straight here, Darren. Man, here tonight, exciting volleyball. We're playing well. Really doing job battling it out. And oh. Here, here's a push across by Criselda Porras. And that's a kill in the middle there by number four, I believe, Brooklyn Garcia. Well, well, we've got a 6-2 Canyon West Plains lead here in game one. Served a lot of points in a row here. Elena Montes, and that is going to be out. Yeah, That's I, tipped. It should be our point. What's I, the deal? Uh, I thought it was tipped. I thought it was they tipped. They called it out. Okay. All right, here's the. Set by the Prowlers, and that's Ivana Ortiz trying the kill from the left side. And there's Ariana Gonzalez uh, digging that, that one out. Here's Ivana again, a dink across, handled by Canyon. They set it to the left. And that's one of those. That's Jaylee Franklin with an opposite side kill. We've got a timeout, and it's brought to you by r &K Reynolds and Party Supplies. We'll be back in a moment. This is Dakota Livesay for the Pecos County State Bank. The ethic of West Texas is one of dedication. Hard work, chin up, get it done. Long hours and extra effort always pays off in the long run. At the Pecos County State Bank, you will find employees who will do what it takes to make sure you are satisfied. You will find dedication, a West Texas institution since 1928. The Pecos County State Bank, all the bank you'll ever need. Member FDIC. Do you need dirt work done, trash hauling, roll-off dumpsters, a location built, line locating? Well then look no further than Little Regina Trucking. They do it all and offer very reasonable prices too. Stop by at 701 North Rooney or call 432-250-9611 seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Little Regina Trucking. All right, and finally, we get a point after a, coming out of a time. Aya Urias got a nice kill through a double block. Brought to you by Triple R Welding. Set up a play. Hey, let's go to our uh, one of our outstanding uh, offensive players, and we set up a play for it, and it worked. The dig by Fort Stockton, the set for Alina Montes, and it'll go down on our side. Might be 9-3 now. Yeah, it is 9-3. I like our effort. And, uh, you know. No, not yet. And Brooklyn Garcia will be serving for West Plains. And here's the set by Ron Hell. And Garcia found a spot where nobody was, dinked it down for a 9-4. Prowler's trail in game one. All those smell blood in the middle and we went to the outside they were completely off the track score update brought to you by little regina trucking nine four west plains all right here's the set or the serve by fort stockton out of bounds nobody touched it so that's a point fort stockton a little bit too much on that one it was pretty close darren but uh it's nine five we get another point i wasn't west, worried west Great serve. That hey, uh, is right. a, a hitting error by West Plains. Jaylee Franklin into the net. Guess, guess who has scored three straight points? We have. He's leading. Here's the set. Over to the left. 
And that is out of bounds. Too much on it. 9-7. are trailing by two to West Plains in game one now. The Prowlers on a point score. Get them all. Oh, nice well. serve. That was almost an ace. Wow. There is uh, going to be a point for Canyon as our return was out of bounds. It's 10 7 Canyon West Plains. I like our effort. I tell yeah. you, we're in there with one of the top teams in the state really battling. Jaylee Franklin serving for West Plains. Here's the serve. Oh, it's a ace there for. Could not dig it out. It's 11-7 West Plains. Franklin Searle. That was tough to handle. Got it. Had a real good spin on that. And there's a attempted kill by West Plains. We dig it out, though, by Criselda Portis. We do return it. Here's the set to the middle. And there's the save by Fort Stockton. That was by Addison Castro. This, trying to kill it over the middle. West Plains picks it up. Ariana digs that. And that is uh, out of bounds, but it's on a double block by Fort Stockton. So West Plains gets the Sofia Hernandez from the other side. And here's an attempted kill, but uh, Castro picks it up. It's out of bounds. For we got a good crowd over there on the other side watching this game. We do. 12 8. West Plains in the lead by four. Tease for the Prowlers. And here's the uh, serve. Dug out. And a. Oh, oh, wow. What a. What a hit by that middle blocker, Anaya Kitchen. Sophomore. Just a sophomore. She's really impressed. The whole house right there, not just a kitchen. <laughs> kitchen and the kitchen sink. Yeah, no kidding. 13 to 8, West Plains. And here's the serve. Dug out by Mia Garcia. Call a double touch on Fort Stockton. Oh, that's a that's a lousy call. I don't know. We're trying hard. Don't do that. You look good to me. All right, here's West Plains. is set back to Mia Garcia, left-handed hitter. And uh, they will free ball it across. Here's the set for Sophia. And that's going to be a block down for a kill, I think, maybe by Riley Haney. I'm not sure of the number. Do you remember Mr. Haney had all that stuff for sale on Green Acres? Yes. Maybe a, even that's a That's an ace. That's an ace by Gets the ace, Jaylee Franklin. I thought she did. No, Somebody it's not. did. No, no, it's not Franklin. No, it's not. It's Morillo, I believe. All right, here's the serve. Here. Blocked back down to the Prowlers. And uh, Sofia Hernandez tries to kill it. They return it. And that's another hard hit. We dig it out by Ariana Gonzalez. Here's the set to the middle. Wow. What a hit right there by number six, Jaylee Franklin, from midcourt. And, you know, Darren, I don't know what she down so quickly from uh, way back there. Top spin. All right, we'll be back in a moment. We've got a timeout brought to you by r &K Rentals and Party Supplies. Hey, Panther fans, this is Rudy Franco with Amistad Motors, inviting you to come out and take a look at our pre-owned inventory. We have a good selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. We have several certified pre-owned units that come with an extended warranty. So if you are in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, drive on over to 2110 West Dickinson or give us a call at 336-9000. I'm Start Motors, friends serving friends. Go Blue! All right, well, we've got a game that's now 17-8. to eight. Canyon West Plains lead. Last uh, couple of times, they've displayed their power a little bit with some really nice kills. 
Well, I, I think they have some kind of spring or something on their shoes. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd ask the official to check it. <laughs> I don't like it. Here we go with the serve. To the middle to Sofia Hernandez. And they set it over to the left side. Now it's a... She's maybe maybe six, six foot, six one, pretty tall young... Garcia, nice job of trying to kill it there, but Canyon it up. Here's the save back by Canyon. Here's the set. She tries to get the kill, and she does. Yes. Nice job by Sofia Hernandez with a triple R welding kill. Let's do the wolf howl. No. Roar. No, if we howl, they'll all look up here, and then we uh, can get the point because that's what wolves do. 18-9. And we're trying to save it. Can't do it. That was a pretty good uh, block right there. 19, was it? Yeah, it's 19-9. Canyon West Plains in the lead, and McCall Sims will be serving for West Plains. By Ariana Gonzalez. You know, that that must be a... If their third or fourth team beat our first or second place team, they're, they're pretty good. Yep. Hey, did you ever figure that out? Oh, yes. You did? Who won our district? Oh, did I figure that part out? Nope. I know everything else. That's the only thing I don't know. I wow. What a shot. That was a good shot by Canyon West Plains. Now it's 21 to 9. You want me to look it up? Yeah, you can look it up. Because you you're, not, you're not doing any good. Well, I haven't been trying. <laughs> two, McCall <laughs> Sims with the serve. Dug out by Ariana Gonzalez. And Amaya. Oh. And now, Canyon West Plains is three points away from winning game one. 22-9. That's your little rejection. And here's the serve. It's a net ball for an. Wow, that was a nice shot. 23-9. West Plains, two points away from. And here's the serve dug out by Ariana Gonzalez. Here's the set. And Amaya Urias stinks it across. Here's the set to the right side. Net ball. And it was in the net for a while. And Fort Stockton's going to pick it up. And that's a, that's a triple R welding kill. And it's 23-10. I like it. And... We have uh, Alyssa Rangel serving for the Prowlers in game one. Here we go. Here's the serve. It's dug out. By number 14, Kinsey Ward, sophomore, middle blocker, and opposite hitter. And it is game point. For 10, West Plains in the lead. Game point. Number 11 serving, A.J. Norman, a junior. Herford was three and Canyon number four in the district. Yeah. All right, so that means 25-10, Canyon West Plains in game one. Date, we'll be back in just a moment. Every day is a party day at RNK Rentals. They furnish party supplies like jumping balloons and water slides, Corn, snow cone, and hot dog machines for rent, and they even have pinatas for sale. They also rent tables and chairs for any occasion. That's R and K Rentals at 432-251. Local real estate professional is Angie Miles at Turnkey Realty, offering experience professional real estate consultation. Angie Miles has over 30 years of sales experience and serves the entire Trans-Pecos area, including Fort Stockton, Pecos, Alpine, and Southwest Texas. She can show any listing and can list your resident ranch property and also offers property management services. For all your real estate needs, contact 
Turnkey Realty, 804 North Main, or call 290-8038. Eleven oh one West Dickinson in Fort Stockton. Open Tuesday through Saturday. They offer delicious coffee, tea, smoothies, hot chocolate, fresh pastries, and desserts. Come down for bingo and loteria on Thursdays at seven p.m. And Saturdays, Glitzy Trends has all-day games like darts, indoor cornhole, jenga, checkers, chess, and board games. Come by Glitzy Trends and Glitzy Brew today. Eleven oh one West Dickinson. Alamo Tire and Auto Repair, now in their new location at 2709 West Dickinson, offers a new so many advantages on repairing your vehicle, like a 25% discount on the posted shop hourly rate, a 12-month or 12,000-mile warranty on parts and labor on most repairs, and many services for just $5 and other services for free. Check out the $5 Club today at www. 2709 West Dickinson. All right, Darren, we're back, and we are on Facebook. We are not on Facebook. No. We're on, we're on YouTube now. The Internet will handle, and it's even still cutting out a little bit. But uh, we're just on uh, YouTube tonight on our video feed. We should get a refund. Maybe so, yeah. Sure enough, it's the same as it was when we were here uh, about a week ago. Not really good all over town. No, it's not. Actually. Yep. All right. Game one to West Plains, 10 to 25. I think we were cheated. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I, I retract that. Last. You know what? I, I like how we We'd scored four straight points, so I like our effort. Here is Alyssa Rangel with the serve. We have not had an ace yet, but the aces are brought to you by Rainwater Motor Company. And here's a yes. One, I think I saw her arm at the gun and knife shot. <laughs> one zero West Plains after that shot. Woo, man. Norman is serving for West Plains. AJ Norman? Yes. Going to be a service error on West Plains. It turns into a 1-1 contest here. We were leading 2-0 at the beginning. Yes. If we can hold this lead, we're all even. Griselda Pura serving for the Prowlers. And it is dug out by West Plains. By West Plains. Number four there, Brooklyn Garcia trouble with it but uh yep west plains leading now two to one in game two we lost game one ten to twenty five got into double digits of course these two canyon teams uh, all of them are good but west plains good ranked in the top ten in the state that is another kill that one by jaylee franklin outside hitter a senior wow that is a very hard kill. Three to one. West Plains on top. And they do cross court. It's a really good set, too. All right. For Amaya Urias, she they dig that out. She dinks it across. Kill by Jaylee Franklin. And Darren, we're being a little tentative, not being quite as aggressive maybe as we need to be. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I know they've got some good blockers, but uh, we're trying right now. Just hit it down towards the tape, and I think we'll be okay. Here's the set for Ivana Ortiz. 5-1 West Plains. That's your Little Regina trucking game score. I like that. Go deep for the corners. You know, Zenaida Murillo serving. That's a nice dink right there. A kill. And that gives us a point right there. Five to two. We trail by three. All right, here's Ariana. And that was almost an ace. They almost didn't handle that. 
on the left side for a kill from the left. Brought to you by Triple R Welding. 5-3. We get a point. And it's West Plains by two. Fort Stockton does have a good crowd here. We really this, do, uh, yeah. First, first by district match in about seven years. Ariana Gonzalez. She'll set it. And, wow, that was a great return and another attempted kill by the same lady, Brooke Garcia. She sets it. And that's the opposite side kill. They almost got into the net. Here's Ivana for West Plains. Four hits on the Prowlers there as Ivana couldn't quite get it over the net on that dink. 6-3 West Plains. And he is serving. You know, we've heard this school be 5A Division One or 2. This is a big school we're playing. All right, here is so No, that's. Garcia with an attempted kill. I like it. Here's yeah. the set for Ivana, and they dig it out. Here's the set, and that's over to the left side. We dig that out. Ivana Ortiz, nice hit back across. Here's the set. This is Kitchens, and wow. And won the point. Won the point. That was uh, – a little luck involved in that one, Darren, oh, but hey, you know You know, what? We, we've good. been practicing that particular shot where we <laughs> kind of bang it over for the, for the win. Addison Castro will be serving. Six to four, West Plains in set two. I oh, really appreciated that. They, they yeah. were going wild on that point. Yeah. All right, here's the dig by West Plains. Here's the set. It's low. A dink across. And here's the uh, set for Sophia. Sophia tries to kill it. They dig it out. Kitchens, my goodness, what a hit. And wow. you know, they, they get you. If they don't get you with one hitter, they get you with the next. And it's like bam, bam. And uh, they get a point, 7-4, Canyon West Plains. I thought I read somewhere where you couldn't hit it real hard twice in a row by <laughs> the same person. <laughs> All right, here's the net ball. And, wow, that's uh, – and with the hit across. No, it wasn't Kitchens that time. And that one is out of bounds on the attempted kill. Just out. That was a good shot, was, though. Addison Simmons was that other young lady there with another – uh, I got some good hitters up there. West Plains, a short shot and short serve. And here's a dink. Yeah. 8-5 now, West Plains leading in game. 19 serving, Ivana Ortiz. And into the middle. And turn by Ivana Ortiz. Here's the dig by over to Fort Stockton, uh, Jocelyn Arcidas. Wow, that's a kill by number 13, Anaya Kitchen. 9-5, West Plains. She's pretty tough. Oh, uh, this afternoon, ladies playing hard. All right, serving will be Canyon West Plains. C.C. Murillo, I believe. But it is picked up by the Prowlers. And that is Mia Garcia hitting it into the net there. That's another point, 10-5 for Canyon West. That was close to crawling over for our point. Just, just, just missed. With West Plains leading 10-5, they won game one. Canyon picks it up. Now here's the two, Jocelyn Arcidas. Canyon digs it out. Attempted. A sophomore. 11-5 for two. By district action for a volleyball. An ace. Kind of fell asleep there on that serve. Folks, uh, Volleyball fans, mark your calendars for the UIL State Volleyball Tournament, November. Where the best teams 
from all corners of the state will battle it out on the court, showcasing their unmatched skills, incredible teamwork, and sheer determination. Dates and ticket information, head over to uiltexas.org slash volleyball. That's UI. Boring. I don't like that. Why do you do that? I have to. There's oh. another kill by 13 5, an eight point lead for West Plains. We have to pay it off. Uh, yeah. Huh. And play commercial as well. <laughs> All right. Here is kill by number three there, Piper Patterson. Say that three times real fast. <laughs> I know you. You know where you can get a great lunch special for a very affordable price? Of course. Their lunch special is served Monday through Friday during lunchtime. Monday, it's the taco plate. Tuesday, it's the grilled chicken salad. Wednesday, it's Bienvenidos Nachos. Thursday, the hamburger basket and Friday it's the enchilada plate. You can come by Sunday through Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. for a delicious Mexican style breakfast. Bienvenidos open Sunday through Friday starting at 9 a.m. Supercharge your journey at Ram Power Days at Ram Country. Two months or up to 7,000 bonus cash. That's right, 0% 0% for 72 months or up to 7,000 bonus cash. Plus, get warranty forever. Extra protection at no additional cost to you. This expect a better experience. Cruise on over to RamCountryFortStockton.com. For the timeout, 14-5, Canyon leading. We elected to call a timeout. We were not playing too well right there and trying to regroup. Uh, after all, those kills by West Plains, they're very tough up at the net. Another kill by number three, Piper Patterson, through one of our blocks, and it falls down. Yeah, got some. They're tall. Tall and can jump. Oh, yeah. The Murillo serving. Here's the uh, set. And that, you know, the ball. Net with the ball. Yeah, it's too close to the net. Can't, couldn't handle it. 16-5, West Plains. All right, to the right. We dig out that kill. And here's uh, Yvonne hitting it back across. And to the right side, they try to get another kill. We dug it out nicely. Kill for Sofia Hernandez. Brought to you by Triple R Welding, 16-6 now. In 25, Mia Garcia will be serving. Into the middle, nice. Number three, Piper Patterson. Wow. I mean, they've just got so many powerful killers up there at the line. Killers. Killers. <laughs> that sounds illegal. Killer wolves. Yeah. Hernandez. Here's Ariana free balling it across. Here's the set by Kenya. Position Piper Patterson, 18-6. Man, I tell you, that was she's a she's an opposite side hitter, left-hander, and she really killed it. 18-6, West Plains. Here's the serve. A block back down by Piper Patterson and Brooklyn Garcia. We need to go on a roll right here. We need to win this set. Into the net, and it's a service ace. See? Service uh, error, excuse me. We got a point. Yeah, we did. Keep here we go. Keep saying it, right? Yes, yeah. Prowlers. I think we ought to play a siren, see if all the wolves howl and look around. Well, the winner of this district. And West Plains, I think, was ranked in the top ten. To the middle, and that is off of a block that goes out of bounds off of us. 20-7, to seven, West Plains in the lead. Wow. 
Number 11, serving A.J. Norman for the Wolves. All right, here's the serve into the middle. Elena Montes digs it out. A save by Elena. Now the set for West Plains. I believe that's out of bounds. Team two. And for us, Criselda Porras serving. Here's Porras with the serve. Dug out. And that's going to be double touch. A double touch by things a little more tightly. Well, you know, it's easier to call for them because they have paws. That by the Lady Wolves, and that is block. Wait, no. Now we're going to get that saved back. We say there's a attempted kill. It is good, a good one. I believe that was uh, Kinsey Ward from the right side. They're, uh, we're having trouble scoring on them, Darren, and they're they're really dominating the game, obviously, with their power. Well, they are. Yeah, they're just tough. They've got a lot of tall jump. The serve dug out by Criselda Porras. Elena Monte. And that one is too much on it by number six, Jaylee Franklin. Prowlers get a point, 21-10 West Plains. We're already in double digits yet again. Yes. You know, and as much as we improved, if we next year, next year we'll be winning this stuff. All right, here is Ariana Gonzalez. The set backward. In the middle. They just, I tell you, they very aggressive on the net. Any slam it. Yep. 22-10 West Plains in game two. Serving will be Brooklyn Garcia for the Wolves. She dinks it across. They pick it up. Here's an attempted kill. Out. It's out. Much on that one by Addison Simmons. 22 to 11 now, our score with West Plains leading. And that is your Little Regina Trucking game score update. We lost game one, 10-25. Addison Castro, the dig out by West Plains, a really nice block in the middle by Mia Garcia and Sofia Hernandez. They tried to dig. Ivana Ortiz hits it across. West Plains will kill it wow. uh, from the there. Anaya Kitchen with the kill. 23-11 West Plains. It is now number six. Franklin serving for West Plains. Here's the set by the Prowlers. Sophie. They did dig it out. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Woo. Piper Patterson, a junior, just, I mean, just air out of the ball right there. 24 to 11. West Plains, they're at game point to the middle. Set by the Prowlers to Mia Garcia in the middle with a kill. Nice job yes. by Mia Garcia. 24-12. Ivana Ortiz with the serve for the Prowlers. See if you can get a Rainwater Motor Company ace. We no, they dig it those. out. It's another attempted kill, and it is another good five. The Prowlers lose game two to Canyon West Plains. We're down two games. Match. We'll be back in just a moment. When you need supplies in the oil field, the choice is clear. Choose triple field supplies you need, including general oil field supplies, PVC pipe and fittings, hydraulic hoses, generators, safety equipment, house is available. Triple G Supply and Services is right here in Fort Stockton at the west end of Dickinson at 1040. 8284 Triple G Supply and Services. Concept Inc. is here to help you with all your oil field and residential needs. They provide licensed septic system installations, site evaluations, roll-off container rentals, and porta potty rentals, septic tank, and grease trap pump outs. 
Backhoe services and general construction also available. Contact Kobe Terrasses at 432-290-3620. That phone number again is 432-290-3620. Concept Inc. The Steakhouse Restaurant has been serving Fort Stockton and the surrounding area for many years with consistently great food and fast, friendly service. They offer daily lunch specials on weekdays at a great value. Each special comes with appropriate size and they were voted to have the best steaks and enchiladas in Fort Stockton. The Steakhouse Restaurant opened Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. at 1100 in Fort Stockton. Back here uh, with more Prowler Volleyball. And I tell you what, Darren, this has been a, a tough match so far for the Prowlers. Of course, Canyon very good, very good team. Well, they're tough. And, uh, you know, I looked. Our number one team, Greenwood, uh, got in the number four team. And uh, oh, that's a tough district up there in volleyball. It really is, yeah. And, you know, we, we need that. We need to play tougher teams. We need to pick up the speed of the game. Great experience for our ladies. It is. And they have battled. I mean, I tell you, we have shots, scored a lot of points. So the scores so far, game one, 10-25. We lose that one, and we lose game 12-25. So here comes game three. We, we must win this game to keep the match going. Yes. It's going to tell you. Let me tell you one more time about <laughs> the UIL State Championship Volleyball Tournament. Here, let me sleep for a minute. Hey, volleyball fans, mark your calendar for the volleyball tournament, November 15th to the 18th at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas, where the best teams from all corners of the state will be battling it out on court, showcasing their unmatched skills and incredible teamwork and sheer determination. For the latest updates and ticket information, head over to uiltexas.org slash volleyball. That's uiltexas.org slash volleyball. You know, I think Ruben must have written that because Texas does not have – it says all corners of the state. Ruben would say, you know, he yeah, can, because he, he's he called a, a pentacle. Okay, well, all he needs to do is know how to make enchiladas. He's good at that. Yeah. Okay, here we go with the serve for Canyon West Plains, number eleven, and that's AJ Norman, dug out by the Prowler, set for a and a beautiful block in the middle on Amaya's attempted kill. Boy, they're good blockers too. It's one nothing West Plains. Cowboys need a couple of those. They're good blockers. A.J. Norman serving again for West Plains. Ivana Ortiz. A cross-court attempted kill. They dig it out. And that's a block back down by Amaya Urias. Up many points, Darren. Oh. Uh, there's a nice dig by West Plains. They get it back across. Here's the set. Amaya dinks it across, tries to get her to across over their block. Here's Elena Montes again, blocked back. Is on the Prowlers is called. Bad Wolf, Bad Wolf. 2-0 West Plains. So they've taken the lead in the all-important game three here. Number 11 serving, A.J. And this goes to Jocelyn Arcetas, tries the kill. Oh, this hit it there, and they went under the net with the ball. 2-1, West Plains by one. Yay, Lady Panthers. Here we go with Criselda Portis coming in. Sir. Prowler cheerleaders are here. The mascot is here. The <laughs> Canyon West Plains, 3-1 is our score. West Plains in the lead in game three. And we had to cut out the YouTube feed tonight because we didn't have enough Facebook bandwidth to carry it. You Facebook know? feed. We got the YouTube feed, but what, no Facebook. Right, right. Did I say it backwards? Whatever. All right. Here is oh. a miss hit into the net by Amaya Urias that time. 
4-1 West Plains. And, it, you know, it could be a little a hit back across by Jocelyn Arcetis. No, it was Alina Montes. Oh, I oh, thought that was out. But I thought in. it was out, but they called it in. So it's 5-1 West Plains. off his glasses. Why didn't he do that before the shot? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Out of bounds by the Prowlers in West Plains. They so it's 6-1 West Plains. I like it. Go for the back line. Up in the back line. Well, they have two number fives. It's either Castillo or Murillo. Oh, that's what a I beautiful, spoke. beautiful kill by Amaya Urias. Brought to you by Triple R Welding. And our blocks are being brought to you tonight by M and J Trucking, and that is an M and J Trucking outstanding play. That ace. one is in. That's, got a, our that's ace. an ace. Yeah, there we go. Brought to you by Rainwater Motor Company. Thank you. I like that. That was a great serve. A really nice. Didn't pick it up. Ariana Gonzalez. Serves it across into the middle. Here's the set over to the left side. And oh, that, that was close. I man, tell you. I thought that was uh, a ball. Well, he was very close to the line. 7-3, West Plains. They get the point. Number four, Brooklyn Garcia serving into the middle. Ivana Ortiz hits it across. West Plains. And that is out of bounds on the attempted kill by Jaylee Franklin. 7-4 now. This is a closer game. 7-4 West. The other guy has a seeing eye wolf. And that's never a good sign when you're playing the Wolves. Yeah. I Addison Castro serving. She's been a good server for us this year. And uh, here's the attempted. 8-4, the Wolves, the Lady Wolves, I guess. Bad Wolves, bad Wolf. Jaylee Franklin serving again for West Plains. 9-4 is our score with West Plains in the lead. And there's Man. another ace. She's got that dying thing is dying over the net, and, uh, and yep. it's a little shallow where we're playing her. 10-4. Dug out this time by the Prowlers. Set to Castro. Here's the set by West Plains. Back to the right side. We dig it out. Wow. I tell you what now. Uh, Anaya Kitchen. Unbelievable shot. This is a fight for the very existence. It's Halloween week. Experience the future in the now showing at Panther Pictures in Fort Stockton. Friday, October 27th through Wednesday, November. And a Spanish version will be held October 29th. See the film that critics are calling Extraordinarily Original. Get to picturesfs.com. Big Bend Concrete can provide quality, ready-mixed concrete for any job you need to tackle. From a simple sidewalk or driveway to for larger pours or on-site batch plant setups at remote locations for commercial or private endeavors. Proud to be the number one concrete provider in the Trans-Pecos Big Bend area, Big Bend Concrete, 836. All right, Jaylee Franklin serves after the timeout, and here's an attempted kill by Sofia Hernandez, and they pick it up. West Plains, we do a, have a nice dig right there. And that was into the net. So Prowlers get a point after the timeout. 11-5, yes. West Plains in the lead. And our Little Regina Trucking match score, we lost game one 10-25, lost game two 12-25, and we're trailing 5-11 here in game three. Ivana, will, Ivana Ortiz, short serve. Ace. That is out of bounds. That'll ace. be, yeah, Rainwater Motor Company ace. Canyon Randall beat Andrews in set one, 25 to 12. Wow. 
This that this district up north is really really good. I believe. That's two. That's like two Why? last names, isn't it? No. Riley no, no. Haney. Sure, if that's who that was. Well, honestly, whoever. Twelve six. West Plains in the lead. There's another. 13-6 is our score. West Plains in the lead. Number 10, C.C. Murillo serving. And return and a dink down in the middle oh, by wow. Anaya Kitchen. Wow. She avoided the net on that, too. So it's the playoff teams were Canyon Randall, number one. Canyon West Plains. Dink down for a kill on the left side by Piper Patterson. Canyon West Plains, was, again, Randall. It was Herford number three and Canyon number four. Is that right? Yes, you are correct, sir. That, but uh, I'm not the official. There's a nice kill by Sofia Hernandez through a double block. Yes. And yes. that's full our welding. I like it. Good job, Sophie. Herford defeated Monahan. Close game, fairly close. That's our that's our number two team taking on their number. Over to the left side, and that's blocked back down. That'll be a point for Stock. Here we come. 15-8. We trail by seven, and we've got the serve with Mia Garcia. In set one, Herford beats Monahan's 25-19 in set one. There's an attempted kill, yes. but they go into the net with it. Our By the point. way, and you mentioned that uh, Greenwood lost in three straight yesterday. To and uh, none of those were that close. And there's another attempted kill by number 14, Kenzie Ward. Be a block back down. Yes, by another point. So Sophia Hernandez and Amaya, you're playing better right now. Oh yeah, well, we trail 15-10. Game score. The set, and that'll be out of bounds. Yeah, this is On the return. This is where the the wolf's trying to blow down the brick house and just just gets frustrated. Here's the dig out by Fort Stockton. A set to Sofia Hernandez. Through a double block, West Plains will kill it. Number three, Piper Patterson. And Canyon West Plains. And Darren, they're only eight points away from winning the match here. Serving McCall Sims. Dug out by Ivana Ortiz. Set backwards to Sofia Hernandez. And here's the hit from midcourt. Pretty one, hard one to handle. Her best play of the night right there, and that's brought to you by Triple R Welding. m and Trucking, I should say, outstanding play. Yeah, caught their uh, back row player leaning to one side and came in behind her with a nice kill. I want to mention that m and Fast Loop sponsors our... I want to thank... There's another kill by number four, Brooklyn Garcia from the left side. I want to thank they were very good to do that and the football playoffs too if we can secure the rights. It's a very strange thing. Here's Amaya with a kill. Smoke. With a kill. That was just beautiful right on the line. Right in the corner. by Amaya Urias. Number 11 for us serving, Criselda Porras. And the set. And the return back across. We set it up to the front for Amaya. Now we'll set it. Criselda Porras comes up to help. Attempted kill. Criselda gets the dig. Ivana Ortiz had it blocked. Jaylee Franklin 
And they have a 19-12 lead over the Prowlers. Very long rally. Uh, you know, we dug it out quite a few times. Emerson Castillo serving for West Plains. Emerson. Yes. And number four, Brooklyn Garcia. I tell you, you just uh, don't put anything up near the net for them to hit or they'll kill it. It was really kind of set up by us. Yeah, right we there. set it to them on that yep. time. Castillo uh, serves it again. More Prowler volleyball after these words. Buck Salute Center is located at 310 West Dickinson in Fort Changes, multi-point vehicle checks, inspection stickers, and fuel filters for all vehicles. Specializing in mobile oil, but with motorcraft also in for reasonable prices and great service, it's Buck Salute Center. 310 West help to serve you on every oil change. Cactus Health is your one-stop health care. for you and your family, including health education, hearing care, OB care, prenatal services, men's and women's health, and lab services. Cactus Health, located at 700 North Main Street. All right, we're back. And oh, man, that was close. A little bit out of bounds by the Prowlers. So West Plains gets the point, and they are three points away from match points. Tries to get the kill. They dig it out. Kill by Canyon West Plains. It's good. In game three, they won game one, 10-25. Won game two, 12-25. Now they're leading here, 12-23. We need a couple more points. Here's the serve. That is 3-13 now. West Plains leading. Ariana Gonzalez, hard to handle. And a dink back across. Mia Garcia. And they will set it to the middle. Thirteen. And so, Darren, here we are at game and match point. Our backs are against the wall. This is when we're our best. And here's Elena Montes pushing it back across. This is the match. And it was a bit lopsided, but I tell you what, I'm so proud of the proud Making it here to the bi-district match this year, facing a very tough opponent. Well, we know that this would be a learning experience. But what an real. effort by the Prowlers. Played very every point very hard. 10, 12, 13. So, great job. All right. And West Plains being awarded the bi-district. Your dreams are what power our community. When it comes to buying a home, starting a business, or tools to help with everyday money management, from personal checking and lending solutions to mobile bank services, our goal is to help you achieve your Citibank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Contesa ready to serve all your concrete needs. They also offer general construction, precast, 270 Gonzales Loop. For more information, call 432-47. Contesa Ready Mix, owned and operated by Colby Terrasas, serving Fort of inflation driving up the price on virtually everything at ctj express oil change we have mastered the art of inflation every weekday 11 to 1 p.m and our service appreciates for local teachers military first responders and correction officers we're fast too and remember at ctj express we are the best for the most dependable place to get your state come stay with us at ctj express in fort stockton Designer Carpets and Interiors has become known in Fort Stockton as they will be glad to put together a free estimate on just about any remodeling project. They also can help with ideas and designs for your project to upgrade your home and add to its value. 
They also have all types of the latest and most modern flooring, including carpet, tile, hardwood, laminates, custom cabinetry, countertops, and much more. Call Designer Carpets and Interiors today at 336-6591. Once upon a time, a person's banker knew them by name. They saw their banker at First National Bank of Fort Stockton. We offer you that kind of banking again. For buying, building, or remodeling a home, for commercial banking, for personal banking from your first checking account to the last. FDIC equal housing lender. NMLS number 410651. Steve Public Schools shape the future by providing the best possible education for our students. Hello, this is Dr. Gabe Zamora, Superintendent. Together we are ensuring the future of our community, state, and nation is bright. Fort Stockton ISD is committed to bettering the future for all members of our school community. We are extremely proud of all our students and their accomplishments. And Prowlers. All right, Darren, we're here to wrap up the ball game for you tonight. Uh, Fort Stockton loses to Canyon West Plains in three straight games tonight. And uh, uh, winning third place in the district and going back to the playoffs again, winning six games. District record six and five. We did and uh, gone from three wins the last two years, which was an improvement. And uh, we took a took a step up, but this year we stepped it up. Six wins, third place, and and by the end of the year we were playing very good. Ball. Yeah, you know there was a lot of sad horses headed for the glue factory, and uh, you know, we, yeah. we we did we won the last five sets against Andrews. We yeah. won two yeah. to to win three two. Stockton loses to Canyon West Plains three games to zero and uh, the volleyball season is over the girls will move on now to basketball by Amistad Motors Angie Miles at Turnkey Real Benito's Mexican Food Restaurant Alamo Tire and Auto Repair Ram Country, Triple G Supply and Services Rainwater Pictures, Big Bend Concrete Bucks Loop Center, Cactus Health Services Citibank And interiors, the First National Bank, Fort Stockton ISD, Fort Stockton Insurance, the Guadalajara Mexican Grill, Hernandez Sanitation, RK Reynolds, K Bob Steakhouse, MJ Trucking, Sawyer Insurance Agency, Porky's Ice House, MJ Fast Loop, Texas Eye Care, Pecos County State Bank, and by Little 